value probably wasn't a specific factor that we actually called out, such as something like what's the, what's the market size or what's the impact of solving a need on a patient or what's the um, impact of, uh, of solving a need for a physician. But as I mentioned before, we had thought about the macroeconomic climate and that as a field, cardiac electrophysiology uses a lot of technology. There are more and more people getting older, and atrial fibrillation as a disease state affects people more and more as they get older. We realized that a lot of the needs that we wanted to look at or were thinking about had some value component in them because that's how we went into needs finding. So we didn't think about, well, we should now apply a needs value filter or at this later stage because we actually had already been thinking about it to a large degree in our um, uh, in our needs finding process. So I think what where it really came out again was once we had narrowed our needs down to smaller and smaller numbers and we really chose the ones that we really wanted to focus on, uh, needs criteria that have to do with cost of treatment, how long a treatment took or how long a time to diagnosis, reducing number of tests, that's where value came out again. So I would say maybe not use as a direct filter in the needs screening or um, redu reduction of needs process. It was already there in the needs we found and then came up again in the specific needs that we really focused on.